think the takeaway is like you can make so many outfits with what you already own. You just have to try a lot of stuff on. <laughs> and it's sometimes really fun and sometimes you feel stupid. So here's me feeling stupid, but also making outfits that I would never usually wear and turning them into something wearable. It's Melissa from Mixed Up Money and welcome to my channel, you finance freaks. So at one point I had unsubscribed from every single promotional email I was receiving because it was really getting out of hand. It was like, Renault Fitters here, H&M there, Zara waves at your mom, Forever 21 reminds you you're not Forever 21, Aritzia flash sale still too expensive, ASOS surprise here comes the duty fees. No, seriously it was wild and here I am now, one year later, getting like 10 to 15 promotional emails a day again. It's really hard not to get sucked back in because clothes are fun, they're interesting to look at, they're fun to imagine like putting together an outfit or anything like that. And recently I moved back to a major city and up until this point I had been living in a city that only had one mall and there was zero stores that I would want to shop in there. So I was doing a lot of online shopping but you can't really do as much that way because you don't really get a feel for how things fit and look on you. And to be honest, it's really hard now that I'm so close to so many options not to just rip out every weekend and go look and maybe buy something new because that used to be one of my favorite things to do and I by no means, like no means, am a fashion person. Like I don't feel like I have a style or know how to put an outfit together, but I like clothes. I have fun looking at clothes. I mean, I wear them, so... Does that count for something? Lately, because I don't want to spend any money on new clothes, I've been trying a challenge, I guess, if you will, where I go into my current wardrobe and I try to piece together new outfits that I've never created before. So today I'm gonna show you exactly how I do that. I'm gonna show you exactly how I make multiple outfits with just a few articles of clothing. Are you so ready? That's, that's when you say, yeah, I'm ready. To make this process a little bit less stressful and a lot more fun, I've broken it down into five steps you can follow. Step one, research. Look at inspiration on social media or in magazines. Save the pictures you like and take them to your closet to see if you have anything similar. Step two, choose five articles of clothing. Typically, I lean towards two bottoms, two tops, and one dress, skirt, or romper. Make sure that these clothes kind of have a similar color scheme so that you're not clashing. Step three, exhaust your items. That means combine every single item with every single item you can. If you have a pair of jeans, match them with each item on your list except for the other pair of bottoms. It's also a good idea to try layering multiple items on top of one another. Step four, look in the mirror. It's actually really good if you have a full length mirror. This is the first time I'll probably ever tell you and the last time I'll ever tell you to be self-indulgent. Not like this though, you. And step five, accessorize each look. Use your jewelry, use your shoes, use your purses, your necklaces. Everything counts and everything can make an entirely new outfit. You'll be amazed how much changing from a funky heel to a chunky boot can change an outfit. because you're a grown-ass woman and people love confidence in a grown-ass woman. For inspiration, I do a few things. One, I go to Pinterest. I create a new board that's like what I'm feeling at the moment. I put some staple items and then I build around those items on that board. It's such an easy place to go for ideas. If you're not using it, 
I know you are, so I'm just gonna stop right there. Two, Instagram. Girls are really crushing it these days. Even just my close friends, like I look at what they're wearing and they're more willing to take risks than I am. And then if I like that risk on them, I'm more like, okay, you know what? Maybe I can pull this off. And YouTube. But for like Instagram and YouTube, I watch Best Dressed. Her name is Ashley. She has lots of awesome ideas about thrifting, so getting clothes for cheap, how she fixes items. And then Alana Davison, she's a Canadian vlogger, but she does a lot about fashion and makeup. Thanks so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, you can give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. You can turn on the bell notification to get notified every single time I post. You can tweet me at MixUpMoney. You can Instagram at MixUpMoney with me. I always say that. Like, just follow me on Instagram, I guess, if you want. <laughs> And leave a comment below of some of your favorite fashion tips and tricks to save money because I'm all about that. Have a beautiful week. Enjoy the beautiful weather. Grab a coffee and stay frugal. Bye.